God bless you, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, now the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue Jane in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. in our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup for any of our church services, give us a call, and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Also, our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. You can get all of our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes by going to YouTube every Wednesday and Friday and every Sunday our telecast at 2 o'clock p.m. All right, now into the Word of God. Um, amen. I hope you all feel good this morning. Amen, because I do, baby. Not a problem in the world. Not a pain in my body. Not a problem in my marriage. You tell me God is good. Yes, he is. All right, in the book of Hebrews, the 12th chapter and the 5th verse, that's Hebrews 12 and 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not by the chastening of the Lord. Nor faint when thy are rebuked of him. Despise not the chastening of the Lord. Nor faint when thy are rebuked of him. Now our lesson this morning will be on chastisement. Chastisement because many of us get the wrong understanding of the Word of God. Many of us, we don't have the understanding how God deals with us as sons and daughters. We have the wrong understanding here. How God deals with us as his children. The same way that mama and dad dealt with us with a strap when we was younger. It's the same way that God deal with us spiritually with his word. The Bible tells us that God chastises us because he loves us. Any Christian will be chastised by God. I don't care if he's a bishop. I don't care if he's a prophet. I don't care if there's a Christian. Eventually, they will be chastised by God. Chastisement brings correction. Chastisement brings perfection. Chastisement brings us closer to God. Chastisement brings holiness. Do you see what I'm talking about? Here's the problem, baby. Many people, they want to be saved. 
but they do not want God to chastise them. You know why they don't want God to chastise them? Amen. They got their own righteous, baby. They do not want God to chastise them because they want to be right when they are wrong. Here's the question here, honey. How does God chastise us? Through his word. From the beginning here, God dealt with man. He dealt with Israel through his word. Even none of them. He dealt with none of them through his word. Were none of them if they didn't get their act together in 40 days that he was going to chastise them with his word. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. God uses his word to correct us. Many of us does not want to be chastised with the word of God because we want to do what we want to do. The reason why that many of us does not want to be chastised with the word of God, you know why? Because your flesh is lusting against the word of God. <laughs> then the Bible said that the flesh lusted against the spirit. You see what I'm talking about? Amen. And God uses words that chastise your flesh to get that lust out of your flesh. To get this out of your flesh. To get your evil way out of your flesh. To get that hate and prejudice out of your flesh. He used his word to chastise us. Prophet, you mean to tell me that you could be saved, amen, and you full of lust? Oh, yeah. Amen. But God would use his word to whoop it out of you. You see what I'm talking about? Prophet, you mean to tell me that you can be saved and full of hate and prejudice as they say or as they think, but God have to use his word, amen, to chastise these people, amen, to whoop that hate and prejudice out of their flesh, amen, because God is a God of love. He's not a God of prejudice. He's not a God of hate, but God so loved the world. There's every race, baby. For God so loved the world. That's every race. Amen. That's male and female. You see what I'm talking about? This hate and prejudice comes in through your flesh. It comes in through the nature of Adam. God have to use his word of love to whoop that hate and prejudice out of you, baby. 
Because if not, you'll think that you can go to heaven, amen, with this hate and prejudice in you. No, you can't. No, you can't, baby. Many of us think that we can go to heaven with this lustfulness in us. No, we can't. Paul said, be not deceived then, neither fornicators, idolaters, liars, haters, will enter into the kingdom of God. Let me explain something to you here, honey. God uses words that chastised me to bring me into the man I am now. God uses words that chastised me to bring me into perfection, baby. Oh, I'm steadfast now, baby. I'm running now, baby. I'm holy now. Do you see what I'm talking about? Sometimes God helped to chastise us with a sickness. God helped to put a thorn in our flesh. That's what he did to Paul, baby. He put a thorn in Paul's flesh. He was chastising Paul. Paul turned to the Lord two or three times and asked the Lord to move this stone out of my flesh. God told Paul, I'm not going to move it. For my strength is made perfect in weakness. I'm chastising your Paul to perfection. You see that? I like the way God dealt with me, baby. You see what I'm talking about? I didn't find fault with his chastisement. I didn't get angry because he chastised me. I didn't faint or gave up because he chastised me. When God chastised me, that put me more on fire for God, baby. Do you see what I'm talking about? Many of us does not want to be chastised with the word of God because we want to live the life we live. In the word, is not going to allow it. Many people here, they read the Bible, but don't want to live by the Bible. I mean, why read the Bible and you not going to live by the Bible? Why make your doctor appointment but don't go to it? You see what I'm talking about? But let me explain something to you here, honey. If you does not live your life by the Bible, you're not a Christian. Well, prophet, why are you saying that? Because if you are not living your life by the Bible, you're not walking in the spirit, you're walking in the flesh. The Bible says, if you live in the flesh, ye shall die. You see that? Christians, they live their lives 
by the Bible. You see what I'm talking about? Well, prophet, if I'm living my life by the Bible, why is it a lot of things that God is speaking out of you, amen, that uh, trying to correct me? Because even though here, you are living by the Bible, you still need to be corrected. Even though, baby, you are living by the Bible, you still need to be chastised with the Word of God. You know why? Because you have not reached perfection. Well, prophet, I'm perfected in Christ. All right, if you perfected in Christ, Amen. Why you got some lust in you? Uh, yes, I did. You see that? If you are perfected by Christ, why are you still jealous towards certain people? Why do you still hate certain people? Why do you still gossip? perfected in Christ, then why would Paul tell the church to move to perfection? You see what I'm talking about? Hey, man, we have to, the word of God is what uh, chastising us, correcting us to move us to perfection. Because even though you are saved, and if you got these worldly things in you, baby, you still can go to hell. Hold it, baby. Prophet, you mean to tell me that if I'm telling people I'm saved and I still got the worldly things in me, that I still can go to hell? Well, why would Paul tell the Corinthian church, do not be deceived? Hold it now. He was not talking to sinners here. He was talking to Christians. He was talking to Christian. He said, be not deceived, neither fornicator, infeminate. Shall enter into the kingdom of God. And he said, and such like. You see what I'm talking about? This was happening here, baby. When you get saved, or when you come to God, you don't have the full knowledge of God in you. So what God have to do here is send you his word to correct you. Amen. To chastise you to bring you all the way. To bring you all the way. Cornelius was brought all the way. That's why he sent for Peter to give him the word of God to bring Peter all the way. Hold it up, baby. Watch Peter preached it the word of God to Cornelius and his household. Was they was brought all the way, the Holy Ghost failed. Hold it up, baby. You know why the Holy Ghost failed? They reached perfection, baby. You know why the Holy Ghost failed? Because they was brought all the way. That's what I'm talking about. 
Well, you look in the book of Acts. The angel appeared to Cornelius and said, thy prayers is heard. He said it was heard. It didn't say it was answered. He said, for thy arms came up before God. Thy prayers came up before God. Amen. In other words, Jim, God was telling Cornelius, you came half of the way. In other words, you almost a Christian. But Paul told Cornelius to send for Peter a man that would tell him what all he needed to do to be saved. God met Peter on the roof. Told Peter, go to Cornelius' house. Notice him. Now, God told Cornelius, send for Peter, whereby thy and thy house will be saved. Right now, you're not saved. You brought halfway. God sent Peter to Cornelius' house. What Peter was preaching, Peter was preaching to correct Cornelius. Peter was preaching to chastise Cornelius. You see what I'm talking about? Was God so? that Cornelius accepted the rebuke, the chastisement, the correction of the word of God, he realized that Cornelius was brought all the way, then God sent the Holy Ghost down. Then the Bible said that God gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. And that's what the word said. Let me explain something to you, honey. There's many of you all, and I'm sad to say that I'm preaching to, not only on this telecast, but also even some of my members in my church. They have not been brought all the way. This is why you get angry when I correct you with the word of God. This is why you get angry because God used me to chastise you with the word of God. You could tell right there you not brought all the way. When you get brought all the way, you gonna know it. Instead of you getting angry at the word, you gonna rejoice on the word. Look at Cornelius. When Peter was preaching to Cornelius, amen, did Cornelius get angry? No, but what happened? They rejoiced it. The Holy Ghost fell. They spoke in tongues. They praise God. Here's the problem, baby. I'll tell you why you get angry over what I'm preaching from God. i tell you why you speak against what I'm preaching. Because you have been brought halfway. Whatever that pastor you've been under brought you halfway. And now God done sent you a pastor on the TV to bring you all the way. Your spirit can't adjust to it, baby. You see that? This let us know here 
that them that's been broke halfway cannot accept correction. This let us know that those that been broke halfway cannot be cannot stand to be chastised by the truth of the word of God. How does God chastise us through his truth? Through the truth of the word of God. Here's the problem, baby. There are many of these people. They ready for church, but they not ready for the truth of the word of God. You see what I'm talking about? They ready to get baptized, but they are not ready for the truth of the word of God. Prophet, why is it here that they are not ready for the truth of the word of God and they are and they saying that they are saved? You right. They saying they saved. The problem is they've been brought halfway. Jesus said if they was brought all the way, my sheep know my voice. And the stranger, they would not follow. All right, God bless them. I'm Prophet Willie Townsend. Uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church, where we are located at 10501 South Avenue, James, in Chicago, Illinois, where our Sunday morning services start at 12.30 p.m. in our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes start at 8 o'clock p.m. If you need free pickup, for any of our church services, give us a call and we can pick you up for any of our church services for no charge. Our prayer lines are now open. We have live prayer warriors available that take your call for prayer. Give us a call if you need prayer. Also, I encourage you to write me, send me your testimony, send me your prayer request letter, Write me, Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, P.O. Box number 128, Calumet City, Illinois, 60409. Amen. You can get all of our Wednesday and Friday Bible classes by going to YouTube every Wednesday and Friday at 8 o'clock p.m. and our Sunday telecast every Sunday at 2 o'clock p.m. Until tomorrow morning, I'm Prophet Willie Townsend, uh, the pastor of the Word Evangelistic Church. Until then, may God bless you.